This video was not intended for children. I feel like the first thing I want to do before I go talk to her is go give him the notes. Turn at a more convenient time. What? Something something about a more convenient time? I don't Yeah, know. it said something like return at a more convenient time. I have no idea. Uh Hello everyone, this is Isaac. This is Taryn. And, and we, we are, are true, true masters and morons. morons. Oh, I yes, yeah, yes, yeah, go let's totally go. Yes, yeah. I agree. Like that's what I want to do before so Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave her vampire blood. I must tell Elizabeth. And you Later. will, John, you will. But first, you're going to go over to this man. <laughs> you're going to talk to the uh, fortune-telling vampire research brotherhood running dude who lives under a church with no doors for no reason. <laughs> Now the real question is, will you tell him what you did to the doctor? I was just thinking about that. I'm like, how's that conversation <laughs> going to go? Is it going to go? Is that conversation going to happen? I don't know. And if it does, is it going to go well? <laughs> uh, well, you know, I feel like if we tell him why, why are you going into your house? Because uh, it's the safer way to get to the road. Oh, okay. Hi, Mom. Bye, Mom. Later, butler guy. Oh, wrong way. I need the stairs. I need the stairs. There we go. We'll be back when we get to him. All, All right. right. Hello. My name is Jonathan Reed. I found your book. Prepare Jonathan to reward. Reed. Jonathan Reed. Anyway, I found I your stolen think. notebook. I found your notebook. The one the guard of Prewin stole from me. And, you and no thanks to this game, we didn't read it. <laughs> I know. Were you able to keep yourself from reading it? I'm barely. so glad you phrased it that way. I'm so glad you... Were you able to keep yourself from reading it? Just barely. Yes. Oh. I like how he just takes your answer. With my gratitude. What's in the notebook? I can't answer you, Jonathan, since you chose not to open it. I'd call you a bastard, but I don't even care. Ah, uh, failed. That because you'd get the hint if you read it. Oh, that makes sense. Goodbye, sir. Until we um, meet again. I rarely wonder. Yet it's a mute. Yeah. I don't yes, care. yes. 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 Uh, if we wanted to, we can always Google that and read it. So, but we don't know. care. But we don't care enough. Show us your honesty. note. I could always stop the recording, look at it, and then restart it and resync. So this one. The name of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole comes from the mythical figure of Paul Aurelian, lat Paulius Aurelius, the great Welshman evangelist of the 6th century, Paul Aurelian is supposed to have died in 575 at the age of 140 years and was one of seven founding saints of Brittany. According to the legend, St. Paul Aurelian used his sacred stole as a leash to tame a ferocious dragon and then cast the terrible beast into the sea. The saint is long gone now, but we of the Brotherhood keep his stole as a precious relic. Sometimes called the Brotherhood of the Stole, or even the Stole, I could swear we've read this before. Yeah, that's the thing. We are a society of scholars who observe and identify the presence and activity of the vampires in Great Britain. Known as Watchers, the men and women of the Brotherhood vow to express a neutral attitude towards vampires. We believe we can be useful guides for those immortals sometimes tempted to unleash their appetite. We postulate that vampires are not evil by essence. Over the centuries, we have witnessed that some vampires are able to transcend their predatory nature to protect mortals. Great mythological or historical figures, which we know were vampires, proved that enlightened immortals might agree to protect and guide mankind through difficult ages. Above the Watchers are the Legates, who represent well, the authority of the primate... Unfamiliar. What? This at least starts to sound unfamiliar. Yeah, this is the first part that sounded unfamiliar. <laughs> Above the Watchers are Legates, who represent the authority of the primate wherever they go. As such, they have the right to call for the ban of the dragon. It is an ancestral ritual only known by the primate himself, used when the time comes and proof has been gathered that another beast must be cast into the sea. The gathering and study of ancient texts 
are our main source of information, used to understand the origin and behavior of the immortals. Recently, I decided that our legates should be allowed to travel and explore all parts of the world to expand our field researches. Because, duh. Right? Blessed by the Sacred Stole, the bravest of our watchers even dare to approach and contact vampires to interview them and gather intelligence at the source. We still have so much to learn and to discover. Our journey may never end, and that may be the greatest beauty of our task. From Whispers of Our Past by Usher Taltree, Primate of St. Paul. So, in the top right of the actual letter, it has that fish Where do square, I start? Di On the fish fish? square diamond circle. Okay. Um, so we'll be back, guys. This is, this is the solution to the puzzle out here in the front. I just wanted to show them real quick. That, that's fine, but what um, order is it? I'm working on that. <laughs> ah. uh, it changes it's randomly generated but his thing apparently gives you the answer you step on these four plates and it opens up a thing to give us a neat sword so we're on the back once we figure this out so try this try fish circle square circle fish diamond okay I still haven't 100% determined where fish is yes, okay so fish so let's say this is fish right <coughs> then that means circle is that one so fish circle Square, circle, fish, diamond. Hey, that was it. Ha, 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 ha. I wondered. Okay, what? so the all the hints and stuff say that they're randomized. Uh huh. But every example photo he showed was the same as what you got, and at the end it said um, there's this combination that has been listed as the standard one, but some sources say that they switch. So. Boom. All right. Supposedly, this is the True best sword in the game. Thing. Hang on. This is Dragon Bane. It's what I got for the DLC. This is true. This is Dragon true Bane. Dragon Bane. It's supposedly the best sword in the game. Oh, it does more damage I mean, at, this, at the level. Here's the thing. Same exact level, more damage, no upgrades equipped so far. Yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be better. Nice. And then there's a little letter. The Recollections of Paulus Aurelianus. Enjoy it, Aaron. To any of my legates, or any clever stranger, who would one day decipher the code leading to this parchment, and by the way, for those of you who just figured this out on your own that this even existed, kudos on you, because never Good a on you, because nope. Jesus. Never would have figured it out. This was not written for you, but for me. As the founder of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, I had many names and too long a story. These few lines are meant to help me remember who I was, what choices I made, and why I did what I chose to do. To never cease to inquire about Immortan, and firmly banish any of them who would prove evil. Through the centuries of my long life, I have been given many names and many titles, but I remember being born on the beautiful island of Albion. I forgot the precise date, but I was told it was during the summer of the first quarter of the fifth century after the birth of the Christian Messiah. I vaguely remember my mother's voice, as sweet as fresh honey, when she sang to my older brother and me. She named me Paul, and my brother, Emrys. Haven't we heard the name Emrys? My father was a strong knight of the kingdom of Penichin. I think I had a happy childhood. I learned to read, and I was taught by wise men. Then the Saxons came, and all was lost. The invaders came from the east and took the land. That was before the false prophet now known as the Horned Trickster pro Okay. <laughs> that was before the false prophet known as the Horned Trickster presented himself in front of King... Gorthagurn to foresee the fight of the red and the white dragons and the defeat of our people. His words were so powerful that the king made him his advisor. As soldiers, as warriors, my father and my brother had no choice but to stand by their king and fight. As a priest, I was free to choose another path. After the death of our mother, I led the, eg I led the exile of my people. I led them across the sea, the young, the old, and the sick, to the islands of Ushant and Bats, to the city of Oximor, where we had to learn new languages. And in all these places I went, I spoke the truth and the true faith, and I spoke about the devil and his crooked horns. With the years, I almost forgot about the face of my mother and the forests of my youth, about the fall of our land and the death of my relatives. I had so much to accomplish. I was a bishop, and I had a flock to guide, my eyes looking to the future. I forgot how to remember my previous life. I was old and at peace when my, bro when my brother Emrys found me, many, many years after his tomb had been sealed. I saw his dead flesh walking toward me in the dim light of the evening, and his rotten mouth spoke ill of me. He called me a traitor, for I had fled the land of our ancestors while he remained to fight. The trickster was his master now. He had granted him unnatural and prolonged life, says the guy who's still alive. 
I called my own brother the son of the dragon, and a dragon himself. Uh, oh. Oh! Yeah, so dragons are... Vampires. And the son of the dragon, that's... Dracula. Oh, shit, you're right! <laughs> oh, for that, wow. For that was what he had become, but he refused to listen. He wanted me to join him and to help him to protect Albion. To unite our people again in the next battles to come. To achieve victory, he offered me everlasting life. As I refused, he attacked me, and his fangs and claws went deep into my flesh. Finally, I managed to bind him with my stole, and the power of God struck him. Then I sent him away, back to the sea into the shadows, forbidden ever to come back. This is the true story of my brother and of my stole. This is how we were both defeated, for my words did not convince him, and his bite corrupted me. Soon I died and I rose from my grave to forever, to forever walk under the clouded moon. I drank the blood. I changed my face. For the crime I had committed upon my own kin, I swore to go back to Albion. There I would watch and protect the land my own way, strengthened by my faith but blinded by the sun. Of my weakness I would make strength, a ray of hope in the dark for the centuries to come. Under many disguises, among the livings, bound to my oath to protect the living from the threat of the dragons, and ready to ban any of them who would prove evil. Okay. So either we were turned by Polius Aurelianus, or we were turned by the person who turned his brother. Or his brother. <laughs> but yes. Or his brother, yeah. Either I Dracula. Doubt it was his brother. Either Dracula, the brother of Dracula, or the sire of Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So so either Dracula, Nosferatu, or the brother of Dracula. Yeah. Oh my gosh. No wonder there's oh, so much or power Alucard. in Alucard. Jo- yes. There we go. Dracula, <laughs> Alucard, or Nosferatu. Nosferatu. <laughs> no wonder there's wow. so much power in John's blood. Criminy. All right, let's read the description of that sword then. Oh, the yeah, yeah, Dragon yeah. Slayer. Since it's the true. Yes. Dragon the, sorry, Slayer. the true Dragon Bane. And now that name makes more sense. This ancient sword with a Latin phrase engraved on the blade has been for- had been forged in Wales during the 6th century and belonged to Polius Aurelianus, founder of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stall. Wow. Yep. Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stall. <laughs> Legend said he had this blade forged before he chose the path of exile and left England with his people. Dragon Bane had been... Dragonbane has been passed down to each new primate of the Brotherhood, and may have been used in secret ceremonies when a primate was sent on a path of war to defeat a hostile creature. The sacred sword was supposedly lost during the schism between the Brotherhood of between the Brotherhood and the Guard of Prewin in the middle of the 19th century. It seems a few copies had been made, but this is the true and original Dragonbane. Ironically enough, I'm pretty sure that's what this says too. That is exactly what this says. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so we're going to mess with upgrading that for a second, and we'll be back. Uh, I do want to talk to him. I assume he doesn't oh. say anything about it, but... Probably not. So many Let's see. To... Mr. Tolltree, Jonathan. I want you to tell okay. me about the magic sword I just took. Oh. Uh, sure. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The cards always tell the truth. Well... Most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? Oh, right. Fate is much- ah, I see. Well, we might as well see if anything's changed. Have already been raised, Jonathan. Oh, good. Okay. Nothing so changed. You're, cool. you're, still in the, you're still in the middle one. We meet again. Not the best, wonder. but not the absolute yes, murderer. I mean, based on everything I know about this game, the best probably isn't, like, amazing anyway. Eh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I will say. I will say, looking up, it, looking into this, uh, came some looking into him. His cards are kind of fun. So as we determined, he can tell you hints you haven't discovered yet. Mm-hmm. Um, he can also draw the hints that you have lost. Mm. But does that include his own? Well, that's the thing. He will never tell you his own hints. So one of the hints that you get out of the, the hint that you get out of the book, you don't get ever. Mm-hmm. Um, if you do this, but and we'll get back to that in a second. But. Uh, the other thing is, he will draw those hints, but he won't tell you. So it's oh, like, he, so really? he, he literally he draw he draws a hint that you have lost, and it will just say he drew the hermit, and he cannot tell you what it says. Oh, you can. Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is the serum created. Ah, 
With insulin okay. instead of garlic. <laughs> The Dose of Insulin, King Arthur's Blood, William Marshall's Blood. Well, I know where both of those are. Where's William Marshall's Blood? It's in the uh, urn in the... Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Good. We're going to have to get wrecked by everyone to make this thing. Yeah, we are. And <laughs> that sucks. Also, I love it for this like artifact serum. You've got two mystical sets of blood and insulin. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, oh, so man. I guess we have to talk to her first? Yeah, I guess. All right. We'll be back, everyone. Do we sleep? Oh, I'm terrified by that idea. I, I guess we're sleeping. We're sleeping. And the reason is because nobody's sick right now. They're gonna be. That's what I'm saying. Like you're about be. to have a whole bunch of sick people. Yeah. New who won. New who won. New who won. Yes. Oh, oh that's sexy damage. You yeah. Level it is. what for the last one? Uh, I need to be level thirty-two. 32. So four more levels. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Who's ready to see everybody get sick, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, it's gonna be so ugly. This is you. Oh, inexplicable disappearance. The Whitechapel police have been informed of the mysterious disappearance of Edgar Swansea, aged 45, physician, at approximately 6.30 this morning. That's all really specific for not being able to tell that he was dragged out of there, but all right. The police have circulated a description of the missing man. Height, six feet, slender build, fair complexion, graying hair, thin moustache. Likely wearing a white surgeon coat with dark flannel flannelette vest and Oxford shirting and leather evening shoes. Dr. Swansea is a familiar figure in the Whitechapel District, the current head of the Pembroke Hospital, and a preeminent scientist. He spearheaded the mass admission of patients during last summer's flu epidemic. Although his methods have been criticized, <clears throat> it should be noted that Dr. Swansea did save a substantial number of individuals during the outbreak. His guidance drove the Pembroke to new technical heights, especially due to his enlistment of vanguard talents. His latest recruit was the transfusion pioneer Dr. Jonathan E. Reed, who had recently returned from the war. The famous surgeon was nowhere to be found to answer our questions. The lack of a head surgeon has led to a drastic drop in the operation success rate at Pembroke. I would advise against entrusting yourself to them until Dr. Swansea is found or a new head emerges to lead the hospital. E.W. Oh, it's not bad. Oh. It's critical. Oh, it's critical. Oh. Cure everybody. Yeah. What's the why? So, um, is the why what we just read? Hey! Yeah, the why is what we just read. It's sanitized, so I never have to worry about it again. Maybe. Love that. Oh, that one fucking hurts. Okay. Nobody got okay. sick here. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Oh, Ooh. please stop! Oh, God! Whew. Oh, Whew. it hurts. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, fun fact. Uh, it does say... That if you uh, kill him and turn the, the other dude into a vampire in the same night, you pretty much kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cause, wow. Because you remember turning him, turning the, uh, the old guy into a vampire, like spreads disease and whatnot? Yeah. Yeah, so if you, uh, if you do both of those in the same night, there's like, you might kill yourself. <laughs> it's like, you might lose right then. Uh, oh, so man. Are we going to talk to Ashbury then? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, we don't really I mean, is, have. Is the, if the, uh, we we might have we other have side, side quests, quests to do, but it's fine. Let's it's let's fine. just go talk to her. Um, Basically, as long as we don't rest without curing, literally the planet, everyone, yeah. we should be fine. All yeah. right, we'll see you at her place. Oh right, she's like painting. Yes. In here, here she is. Behold. What good All right. fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan? None. This is vampire. Is There's no good fortune here. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. I mean, you're painting with a red paint can bucket, Please. for crying out loud. That's right. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good Apparently we were supposed to have talked between this. <laughs> he was mortally wounded. I put an end to his misery. That is terrible, Jonathan. 
And yet you did what you must. The poor man. Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. That face. <laughs> he yeah. unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. To be fair, it wasn't on purpose, but yeah. He sought to cure the disease. And he used your blood. blood. To stop the epidemic. But he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? Oh, telling her this is gonna hurt, dude. He was stupid. That's good. He was stupid! Edgar's behavior was beyond lunacy. He had neither the discipline, knowledge, nor the proper facilities to conduct blood experiments. I must say, I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? I mean, to be and fair, I thought it was you more than him, so... Let me guess. Yeah. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected. And how she became an icor. She secretly... We're not gonna call it an icor. It's an icor. Then we have yeah, remember choice. we learned that. We must act quickly, I will trust Jonathan. you. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. Oh, right! Woman. She's down there. Harriet yeah. Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your <laughs> <laughs> It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment with Harriet Jones. What? You weren't going to not tell her. I know. No. Well, crap. <laughs> Has she ever turned it's anyone? Oh, God. That's funny. Are you all right? Uh, no, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Oh, get I don't blame her. Jonathan, save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear I never was your Wait, enemy. Wait, no. I never Elizabeth. said you were. Can we, can we just, can you, can you just look behind that curtain and tell me if there's anything for her? She literally went through the window. Yeah, they're claiming this is apparently open. Oh, it is open. But what'd she go up to? She went up. That roof? <laughs> what she was she painting? Right? She just had like a big <laughs> red... It might have, maybe it was going to be a background. I don't know. Oh my god, I have gather the ingredients for the antidote. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here it Turn is. Turn a drop of William Marshall's blood from Lord Gregory. <sighs> King Arthur's blood from Geoffrey McCullum. And search for insulin in the old morgue at the Pembroke Hospital. Or, you know, be your, in, your respected doctor makes some. Now would be a good time to blend the recipe Marshall used when he fought the disaster. I think oh, I is that what it was used for? Need. Okay. So, yeah, uh, we're gonna apparently go, um, take all of the, uh, items from all the people. It would have been better if I had just killed What's-His-Face, because then I'd be able to just go pick up the blood, not go find the fucker. Well, remember, we looked it up. Apparently, there's no, 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 no. effect. That's just it. My options weren't... Oh, kill you're, him oh. and turn him. They were let him go and turn him. You're talking about McCullough. Okay. Yeah, McCullough. You get it either way. Still. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, if you want to see more of this or any of the Let's Play lore, etc., let us know what you want to see in the comments down below. It's definitely shaping up to be I'm going to gather these three things and then maybe like another boss fight or two kind of thing, but we're yeah, pro getting Yeah, probably close. Harriet being all nasty. Probably gonna have yeah. to. Harriet will get all nasty, and then more than likely we'll have at least one more conversation with Blood Daddy. Um, Who may or may not be Nosferatu. Or, or Polyus Aurelius, or Dracula. Uh, fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> There's so much that that one revealed, holy crap. <laughs> I'm so glad we got that, by the way. So am I. Like, even if the sword was garbage, this, that note was worth it. 100%. All right, everyone. Okay. In, in the meantime, this has been... True Masters and Morons, signing off. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more like it, hit that subscribe orb. To see our last Let's Play, click or tap the link on the right. For our last lore video, click the link on the left. Thank you to all of our patrons for making these videos possible. Thanks, Thanks for watching, watching and, and we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.